Wait, chain. Nice. Okay. <laughs> we have a way to go back down or climb back up if we ever feel the need to come back this way, which we might. I have no idea how we're going to traverse this mountain. Oh my. Are those fires? Look. All this time, there's been a protection stave around our entire woods. But the stave's broken there. Did you cut those down? She had marked the tree she wished used for her pyre. Why'd she do that? Maybe to break the spell Come. and get us to leave? No looking back now. I mean, no, there could be plenty of looking back. I mean, this is also a nice view. If this is what it looks like from above, surely it made it pretty obvious that somebody was down here, right? I mean, if the gods could fly around, that kind of thing. Yeah, we can't use that, that winch, that spool. But yeah, I don't know, like, if we're gonna have to go up and down the entire path ourselves, or if we can, like, fast travel back to this area to get to this entrance. I don't know. There's no... <laughs> There's no indication that I can fast travel. We just have zoom, move, and go to active markers, and then exit. But maybe it's just because I don't have the ability yet. So, how long will it take to get to the mountain? I do not know. Before winter falls? I do not know. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's going to depend on a lot of the troubles that we run along the way, Atreus. They don't see us. Should I fire? Wait for my mark. Okay. Press square to command Atreus to shoot uh, arrows. Of course we're going to attack. They're in our way. Is this killing him? Alright, just making sure. Oh, they're like, wait, where's my axe? Oh, I left it down in the cave. Cool, alright. This actually makes us invincible to the enemy's attack. That's kind of cool that we can actually use Atreus' arrow to keep him in the air. For extreme levels of juggling. Oh, look at this guy. I like how we were doing base damage rather than stun damage there. Good job, Atreus. I'm ready. I think that was all of them. Threat indicator. Threat indicators around Kratos point towards off-screen enemies. Gold indicators signify nearby enemies. Flashing red indicators signify an incoming attack. Flashing purple indicators signify an incoming projectile. Okay. The purple looks a little similar oh, to the red. Okay. Oh, there's actually still more people. Yeah, I need this archer shit to get out of here. I am glad to have this now, though. Or know about the quick turn. Ow, oh, I thought I parried that. Oh, yeah! It's all about being able to juggle multiple enemies at a time! Oh, thankfully he missed. I pressed down on the D-pad hoping to spin around and it didn't happen. Oh, glad you can... Oh, jeez. Count them. Except you just said only two left and there's three? Boy! You are not ready! Shit! <laughs> Hit the tree! Okay, we killed him. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I really like this. Or rather, I really like being able to spin around and keep myself alive. Do I want to use my Rage of Sparta at the very end of the battle? Eh, I don't really want to. Yeah, I'm just gonna insta-kill this guy. Ooh! Oh, life was scary there for a second. Yeah, I was hoping to stun him, but it was a little too late. Good job, Atreus. How was that? Did I help? If you want to help, distract them. Whoever is not my focus should be yours but only when safe to do so. I can do that. Look there. Look where? Oh, quick turn can be remapped in the settings menu. Can I actually remap everything? Classic. Oh, wow! Yeah, that's a little too late for me to have found out. Okay, so I actually could have had a classic combat scheme, so that way it was square for light, triangle for heavy, which is very similar to the old God of War games, but I'm fine with this way of combat, especially since throwing your axe makes a lot more sense if it's L2 and then R1 or R2, rather than L2 square and triangle. It makes it more like a shooter kind of control. Oh, I can flip, evade, and interact. Crap. See, I'm learning this too late. <laughs> because these would have been really helpful. Because I, 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 I much prefer having interact be like X. That's a very standard button for uh, controls. Boy, over here. There's a Yetnar settlement ahead. Yetnar. Giants. You can read the writing. Some. Just the language his mother knew. Oh, all okay. sort of connected, so sometimes I can feel my way through stuff I shouldn't know. You know? No. But at the same time, yes. I mean... It'd be interesting if, uh, obviously our mother knew some magic, or his mother knew some magic. So if he's got a blend of Norse and Greek mythology kind of like powering him, that's gotta be pretty intense. Also, I did get some money from breaking all those things. That's kind of random. Hey, sword. Too bad I can't use it. Oh, well. We'll just keep the buttons that we've been using. We'll play the way that the devs mostly intended. I already changed one of the buttons, so I can't say completely intended. But I really didn't want to, like, grab enemies. Ow! I didn't want to grab enemies with R3. That was going to be weird. I'll get him stunned eventually. There we go. Who didn't expect this guy up here, man? Anything else? Brace your shots. Speed costs accuracy. Got it. Okay. These enemies become enraged and super aggressive when you're frosted. Father should do his best to avoid their frost blast, blast attack. Really? I mean, hey, I didn't really... I think there's a chest over there. I didn't really get frosted at all, but it's good to know that for the future. Avoid getting elementally blasted. Ooh. Light runic attack. An extremely quick burst of energy that interrupts and knocks back all nearby enemies. Okay. How does that work? You've acquired the Hell's Touch Light Runic Attack Gem. Runic gems allow you to customize your weapon to enable light and heavy runic attacks. The weapon tab is where you can slot runic gems into your weapon. Alright. So how does this work? It's L1, R1. An extremely quick burst of energy that interrupts and knocks back all nearby uh, enemies. Does one damage, or one thing of damage, and two stun. Ah. 
with a 30 second cooldown. Use XP to upgrade Runic Attacks. Upgrading Runic Attacks improves their attributes. Whoa! Press X to equip Hell's Touch Light Runic Attack into the Leviathan Gem. Yeah, you got it. Equipped Runic Attacks are indicated by the E symbol. Press Circle to return to the Weapons tab. Good. Alright. Does that mean I can upgrade my axe the same way? Or am I gonna like replace parts of the axe over time? Because we see we have like a a jet or a, a, a wooden grip, and then the top of it is just Leviathan axe level one. So am I gonna have to upgrade the axe part itself, or am I gonna replace it with other finds? I'm not sure, but okay. Press L1 then R1 to perform a light runic attack. Whoa! How'd you do that? Whoa. Okay. Gonna have to remember that. I think we can go through here. Every once in a while. Move. Thanks. We're getting my different ways to mountain. handle Let's enemies. Go. Not yet. Okay. It's fine. He's gonna get attacked by like a troll. Oh! Wow, yeah, you tempted fate there. Father, Hang on! Hey! Then stop Stay slipping, boy! Calm. Almost there! Oh my. That wasn't so bad. Slow down. Your haste will cost us. Sorry. Mm. <sighs> Ugh. More drawler. But these aren't moving. Are they dead? I mean, more dead? Don't get close to them. Boy. Not dead, not dead! Exactly! Enemy difficulty is represented by the color and number near their health bar. The color of enemy health bars range from green to purple depending on how powerful they are compared to Kratos. What? Oh shit. Remember! Accuracy over speed! <laughs> All right, so I figured the enemies would be a different level. I just didn't expect uh, it was gonna happen so early on. Hold on, I wanted to kill this guy. I'm busy, Atreus. Jeez. I don't have crowd control abilities just yet, technically. Did I just knock that guy to his death? Oh shit, that's not where I wanted that to go. <laughs> I need his arrows to have like a choice between like stun damage or something. Alright, it's time for some Spartan Rage! Is this guy still alive? Oh, okay. Ow, shit. There's actually a... a projectile-based... bonus skill that I kind of want. But I can't get it just yet. I want the precision throw. After landing a precision axe throw, weak points and headshots, press triangle during the flash to recall the Leviathan axe and cause the next throw or melee attack to explode on contact. That, that was the last one. Sounds Is awesome. That Take even more time. It does not matter if you fire only once. Show me control. Oh, thank God. Some of these guys never woke up as we we killed them off. Look at this. Huh. What's it say, boy? Read it. Oh, this used to be a marketplace. The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. Wonder if Odin was ever here. Huh. Uh-oh. 
Trade grounds. Found what used to be a marketplace where gods and giants would meet and trade. Must have been before the war. There's something up there! Uh, maybe it's a giant! Maybe we shouldn't... Something's breaking through the wall! Go this way. Oh boy. Oh, it's just a bigger Draugr. Yeah, alright. Oh boy! Ah! I'll handle it, boy! Oh, jeez. He's got much heavier attacks. Ah, oh, I'm dead. He's like, you need to find a Helix Stone. Where, where the fuck am I gonna find the Helix Stone? Okay, we got heavy draugers now. Don't know how to handle them. They can break through my block. Through the wall. Yeah, I'm fucking waiting. That didn't work. Can I knock him down with his legs? And then you- oh, stun him there. No? Okay. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> there goes Atreus. Ow! Oh, that's rough. Why would it let me use my ability? Jesus! <laughs> okay, small fries first. I can clear the field of them pretty damn fast. Oh, jeez. I'd love if all of this guy's attacks were just unblockable or only parryable. Oh! Oh boy. Oh boy, my screen went out. Okay. The worst part is that, like, it comes back on my recording device sooner than it comes back on my main screen. Fucking combat. The worst time to have that shit happen. Oh, are you serious? Great. Fucking, it went out and then didn't even end up lit at last in the battle anyways. Oh boy! Like I said, kill the small fry. They're easier to deal with. Yeah, here you go, boy. Boy, you're causing me trouble when you get grabbed. Ow! God, the quick jab. One problem I have is the rune... Oh, my screen went out. God fucking damn it, dude. One problem I have... ...is that the rune attack is kind of weird. Like, you'll be fully charged and I'll press L1R1 and it won't activate. And I guess it has a wind-up. You have to be like this and then you can activate. But that's gonna be frustrating because it's a. I wanted to use it as a little bit more of a quick way to get rid of enemies. Ugh, Draugrs. At least we're getting a lot more healing stones dropped. Heavy Draugr. These Draugrs seem bigger than the, for the ones we first encountered. They carry heavier, more dangerous weapons. It makes them slower, but they're a lot stronger than the regular ones. Yeah. Yeah, they had two health bar things there, man. That's ridiculous. Look! There's an opening up there! 
Oh, well, that's useful. Thanks, joggers. Give me a second, because my screen keeps cutting out and I have to sync. Okay. I wish I could figure out what the fuck is causing it, because that's, I've been having that issue over the last, like, couple of weeks, and it's just getting more and more frustrating. 